Hello, in this video, I will continue editing photos in 3D LUT Creator. This time, I have an even more dull image than in the first video. Here, I have a spring forest, where there is no snow left, but the green has not yet come out. Well, at least the sun is shining. Although, for my creative intent, it will be a hindrance. Why? Because I want to turn this view into the nightscape. A rather peaceful silhouette in the distance will only add atmosphere to my idea. So, where to start when you don't know where to start? You will need a reference picture of the night forest. Where to get it? Let's Google it. In the search, I switch to pictures and type night wood. Let's choose something suitable. For example, this one looks fine to me. I copy it. To paste this photo into 3D LUT Creator as a reference, I press Ctrl plus Shift plus V, and the picture opens as a reference, which is confirmed by the inscription at the top left. Let's discuss now. My reference is darker. There are no colors on it except blue, and that is, we can say that it has blue tinting. How can I copy the tint in 3D LUT Creator? I go to Curves tab. I choose a curve extraction method. Since my original image is not tinted, I will just click on Gray button. Done. But the joy is not yet felt. Why? Because the picture is still too bright. Therefore, I will make it darker on the AB tab, and in addition, I will lower the contrast. It looks better, but still something is not right. And the secret here is that when you copy and apply someone else's tint made with curves on your photos, the tint does not fall onto very saturated colors. Highly saturated colors should always be dimmed before applying tinting. I have a very saturated sky, so I will reduce the saturation of the blue on AB grid. Notice that the curves are applied to the image after the grid, so I do not affect the blue tint. Of course, you can reduce the saturation of the entire image, but I do not want to do that, because in this case, I will lose the color of pines. Though it is poorly distinguishable, it is still there. My picture is more like deep twilight with a luminous moon than the real nightscape, so the colors can still be hardly distinguishable. I will also make the sky a little darker. Now, using Satluma Curve, I will make the highlights less saturated and increase the saturation of the shadows. Here, my pines have appeared. Well, in the end, I will slightly brighten the shadows with Master Curve and dim the highlights. That's what happened. Compare before and after. Twilight, lonely park walk, suspicious man on the horizon, I think. A certain mood is felt. Let's check the picture for the artifacts at 100% scale. This is also a photo taken by phone, so something could have gone wrong somewhere. But it's not. Everything is fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please write comments, I always read them. Any feedback is important. See you in the next video.